Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're going to break down the best of convertible helmets for 2023. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump into another one of our world famous best of videos, do us both a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. Speed Addicts is always getting first look at the newest gear coming your way in the industry. Subscribe right now, and that way you won't miss out on any of our latest reviews. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedx.com, you can do so by just shopping with us, and we make it real easy. There's gonna be a link in the description below. They'll get you over to any one of these five helmets we're gonna cover in our video today. We do appreciate your support. While you're over at speedx.com, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So what are we talking about when we say convertible helmet? Essentially, most of these helmets on the table in front of me are more than what meets the eye. They're full face helmets uh, or essentially a three quarter helmet with an add on chin bar that can be removed. They have attitude and again, they give you a couple different riding options to choose from depending on if you want that anonymity of having the chin bar up or you want more wind in your hair, you can remove that chin bar, get a little bit more breeze and a totally different riding experience. We picked our five favorite helmets of this format and we're gonna break them down all for you right now. First up on our list, we have the Scorpion Exo Covert X. Now this is the successor to the original Covert helmet, which was really the helmet that put this format on the map. The Covert was really popular and the Covert X has really lived up to the, the, uh, the tradition, let's say. This helmet has been very well received. We've sold a ton of these. And if you're looking for this riding experience, definitely a top pick. The color of ways, they've got the battleship gray here. They've got matte black, gloss black, kind of, uh, and a few new designs that are pretty eye-catching. Now, the chin bar comes off, but also this three-quarter piece also comes off. So not only do you have kind of that full face format, but you also have the three-quarter and a half shell. So essentially a three-in-one helmet, 299 to 319, depending on which flavor you pick. The actual shell itself, okay, this this part right here underneath the lip, this is composite, it's not polycarbonate, which is nice, that's what's kind of driving the price up, makes it lightweight, three pounds. Now, what you're not getting is a crash impact resistant chin bar. This is essentially for looks, it's for road debris, okay, if you get a bug or a rock or something like that, it will deflect that, but this will not protect you from a crash. And that goes with most of the helmets we're talking about today. There are a few exceptions in the lineups we're gonna show you some of them. The chin bars are meant to be a little bit more resilient to an impact, but generally speaking, these kind of convertible or muzzle style helmets where the chin bar comes totally off the helmet, you can see that this has a lot of, of flex to it. There's no EPS in here. This ventilation system is always open and the seal to the, the sun visor here is not great. So this helmet, you're giving up some things. To get the look, to get this functionality of that removable chin bar, you're going to leak a little bit more air. So not great in colder temps or necessarily like higher speeds. If you're doing a lot of freeway or highway riding, you know, you expect that you're gonna get a lot of wind in the helmet. If that's not for you, I would lean more towards a traditional full face or maybe the Scorpion 930, which we're gonna cover more in a little bit. So you can get a clear visor. It's gonna come from the factory with the, the tented drop down sun visor. And like I said, you can release this and turn it into more of a half shell, but most riders are either going with this three quarter look or they're putting the muzzle back on here. The helmet is DOT in that half shell or three quarter configuration. It is not tested in the full face configuration because like I said, this is not going to protect you protect this area in an impact situation. The fit is true, intermediate oval, two shell sizes, small through two extra large. And you're gonna get that that uh, five year warranty from Scorpion, which is great because you do have moving parts to uh, to protect from any sort of defects if you run into trouble here. That is the, the Covert X. I think they got the styling dead on. I really like the look of this helmet. Just remember, it's not going to be the quietest or the most protected from the elements, be it the wind or the cold. Check it out at speedaddicts.com. Our next contender is the Bell Bruiser coming in at $279. You are getting 
both a full face and an open face helmet. Another convertible, removable chin bar. This is polycarb coming in at it right around that same three pound mark is gonna be DOT and ECE 2205. Now the interesting thing about the Bruiser here and the value proposition for you is that while this chin bar and muzzle looks a lot like some of these other helmets, this one actually has EPS inside of it. EPS is that extended polystyrene, which absorbs energy. So this was tested in both the full face configuration and in the open face configuration. So Bell says, yes, this might save you a few teeth if you impact in the chin bar area. Now, is it gonna protect you like a traditional full face helmet? Absolutely not, but it will do better than some of these other helmets. I've sh I'm gonna show you today where the, you pull the chin bar off and there's labels all over that says will not protect you from impacts, only from bugs, right? This is a little stouter of a chin bar. Now we have the same sort of drop down sun visor. You're gonna get this clear one out of the box and you do have switchable chin bar ventilation in the front. You still have these winglet vents that are wide open. So again, these types of helmets are gonna leak a little bit more air and not the best for cold temps or those higher speed riding situations. But for around town, you want the attitude, you want the flexibility, you want a cool lid, maybe something to mix it up in your arsenal than that traditional full face or maybe even a modular, then a convertible helmet like this might be for you. Three shell sizes, intermediate oval fit. This helmet's awesome. I think um, it does have kind of a unique shape to it. It looks a little bit more round, kind of a classic uh, spherical shape. No ventilation in the back. We only have it up here uh, in this crown area. Now let me show you how the, the chin bar comes off. You have these two releases that you're gonna pull on either side. And let's put that sun visor. And here you go. Now it's, I can see it, it's harder for you to see, but inside this vent, you can see the little uh, EPS liner in there hiding and uh, all that ventilation, there you go. Now let's check out the bruiser in that open face configuration. You go to drop that down. And now you have kind of a classic three quarter helmet. Size is extra small through two extra large. Bell helmets typically fit pretty true and Bell backs everything up with a five year warranty, which is nice to see. That is it. It is the Bell Bruiser classic, good looking and a little bit more protection for your mean mug. Working our way to the middle of the pack, we have the Scorpion Exo GT 930. This helmet comes in at $249 to $269, depending on which colorway you pick out. It is polycarbonate shell, DOT and EC 2205, three pounds, 11 ounces, making it a little bit on the plump side, but it is very, very cool. And the reason that is, is because essentially a three-in-one helmet. We sold a lot of these since it launched last year. I'm gonna show you why. So you get your traditional full face riding experience. You also get a modular riding experience and that you can flip up that chin bar, right? You've seen modular helmets before. Okay, cool. You get that drop down into your sun visor. It is ready to work with the Scorpion. Exocom unit sold separately. So fully integration, integrated comms. Yes, you can run a universal comm kit if you don't wanna run theirs. And the cool part is with this helmet is that you can release this chin bar altogether. So I'm gonna hit the button, the release button on both sides and we're gonna completely remove this chin bar. Now, while the other ones are kind of more targeted at that V-Twin customer, this one's a little bit more sport, sport touring. So now you have that three-quarter shell, a little bit more of a classic look, full uh, ventilation setup with both rear and top exhaust. This one's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable than some of the other ones we've showed you because you can set it up in that full face configuration where it's a little more quiet, a little bit more protection with that traditional modular chin bar but then you can go into three quarter and they even include this visor. So let's set this up appropriately. And there you go. So that finishes that off nicely. So now you have more of a sport sport touring lid. If you're going through, you know, lower speeds, you're gonna spend the day in some canyons. The weather's good. You wanna get the chin bar off and kind of cruise around in this open face format. You have the freedom to do so. You're gonna log some more miles on the highway. You want a quieter riding experience less wind, put that uh, the chin bar back on with the traditional full face shield, and there you go. Size is extra small through three extra large. Of course, we have a full breakdown, detailed breakdown on the GT930 that you'll see in the description below. If you wanna learn more about this helmet, you have a very robust uh, neck gaiter here to keep the noise and the elements out. So we have a convertible helmet, a three-in-one, that's ready for all sorts of different riding experiences. Check it out at Speed Addicts. 
Before we jump into our next helmet, I want to remind you, if you're not already buying your motorcycle gear and helmets with Speed Addicts, you really should be because we offer no cost returns. If you give one of these lids a swing and it doesn't work out for you, you decide it's not for you or it doesn't fit, we're not gonna nickel and dime you like those corporate moto outfits. We're gonna treat you like family and give you that free return label, no cost for shipping, just a few clicks. Get the helmet on the way back here, get same day store credit, a refund, whatever you need to do. We'll give you, give a shot and we'll treat you like family. To qualify, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear's brand new in the original condition. Enough with my shameless plugs, back to the gear. We have the HJC i20. It's been beamed in from the future, although a few days late. HJC is a little slow to adopt new trends, uh, while these kind of muzzle or convertible helmets have been around for a minute and gained in popularity, they didn't launch theirs until 2022. Now, I thought this one would be a little bit more successful than it really has been. And it's not because the helmet's a bad helmet. I think it's just the design that is polarizing. This thing is like screaming Transformer, Stormtrooper. It's badass if you're into this vibe. If you're not into this vibe, of course, it's not going to be for you. But this two-tone, it looks good. Okay, so same idea here. We have that drop-down sun visor integration. You have a removable chin bar that is actuated by these little buttons over here. Like all these helmets, we do have that full detailed breakdown if you want the full experience, but here you are. Now, this is a chin bar that is labeled, does not protect your face from an impact. So if you eat a bumper, this is not gonna do a whole lot to absorb that energy. Again, it's for road debris or uh, things like that on the road. Now, the, the venting is switchable. So you have a switch on this one. So it's gonna cut down on some of that wind unlike a few of the other ones I showed you that are always kind of wide open. Now, here's what it looks like without the chin bar installed. Let's bring the visor down. Again, cool, futuristic, a different spin on this variant. We do have always open ventilation up on the top, nothing in the rear price tag $200 makes one yours It is a polycarbonate construction two pounds 13 ounces making it nice and light DOT homologation in only this three quarter format not with that chin bar on like I said before you're gonna see sizes extra small through two extra large and that is it it is the HJC i20 oh last thing it is prepared to work with their HJC smart 10 or 20 B units which um they have replaced with a newer gen of, of the HJC smart units. The 10 and 20B are still available and uh, they're gonna integrate pretty clean in here through the bottom. That said, you can hijack the same speaker pockets and run a universal comm on the i20 should you want to. Three year warranty from HJC, that does it. On to the next one. Last but certainly not least, we have the Speed and Strength SS2400. When I first saw images of this one, I was like, mm, did they go too far? But really when it showed up, it looks pretty bitchin'. And I will say the ventilation is exceptional on this. These grills are not just for show, there's big ports in the EPS liner. So if you're somewhere where it's hot and humid, you want max airflow, SS2400 should be looked at. It's also affordable coming in at $149 to $179. It is polycarbonate shell. You get that same sort of drop down sun visor experience. One thing I didn't mention is that if it comes loaded with a smoke shield or a smoke sun visor, any of the ones we talked about earlier, they're also gonna throw the clear in the box for you because they know you need to be set up for night riding in those situations. SS2400 is the same deal. You're gonna get that clear visor in the box. One cool accessory you're not gonna get in the box is a peak. You notice these screws across the top. It's gonna allow you to add on a motocross style visor, but that is sold separately, okay? The helmet is DOT and ECE 2205 homologated. And of course it is convertible into a three quarter helmet. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this chin bar off. Now this is another one of those chin bars that is designed only to catch bugs, not to catch bumpers. So here it is. It is also always on. You can see, whoops, you can see the studio right through there. You can't switch off that ventilation. Okay, and it does have a fair amount of flex, no EPS inside of it. So it is for aesthetic purposes primarily. There is that drop down sun visor. When we flip this over, double D ring closure, and that ventilation is extreme. We do have speaker pockets, so it's ready to accept any comm system you might want. And they do have Iridium options for the smoke visor. So some of the color combinations out of the box are really cool looking. This helmet's unique, like this camo print. That does it, two shell sizes, size small, through two extra large intermediate oval, no surprises with the fit. It is the Speed and Strength SS2400, and that does it for our best of convertible helmets for this year. If you still got questions, rider support is always standing by at speedaddicts.com to help you out. Yes, you can talk to a human over there over the email. 
phone or live chat. If you got one of these helmets, sound off in the comment section below. The community wants to hear from you, I assure you. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.